Hello, my name's Simon Gaskell. I'm Principal of Queen Mary University of London. And let me first of all congratulate you on securing a place at this university. I'm sure you will be both happy and successful here, but to help you with that, we put together some pieces from our current students. With university, the thing that's different is you only really get out what you put in. You've got to prepare in your own time. No one is there to spoon feed you anymore. The big difference for me was probably changing from my four A-level courses down to just one. You really sort of give yourself over to your subject 100%. So we'll have uh, lectures in each module and then you do have a coursework as well. It's been structured really well so it's very easy to manage your time. So you have your lectures, go home, then read up on the notes, you know, do uh, outside reading. I found it quite helpful kind of meeting up with friends and sort of like discussing what we did, especially when it comes to revision. Some lectures are filmed which gives you always a chance to go back to it and actually try to understand things that you might have missed. I go for the support of any kind. I could go up to pretty much any lecturers and they'd be really helpful. There are a lot of ways in which you can get help, whether it's academically or personally. You'll see that you're not alone. I we'll have a dyslexia tutor who I see once a week and she's really helpful um, you know, organising my thoughts and things like that. There's a career service, so you can go and speak to them and they give you lots of ideas that you might not have thought of yourself. They helped me with CV writing, they actually helped me get a job. We've been voted the best student experience in London. That already speaks volumes about it. Freshers Week was amazing, I really loved it. It's very busy and you meet lots of new people constantly. We've got the Freshers Fair, which will give you an introduction to all the different sports societies and clubs that you can get involved with. We had these kind of speed meet things almost speed dating, just for a couple of minutes saying like, hi, my name's James, blah, 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 blah. It was a bit scary, but a great way to meet people, and actually I met a lot of my friends. At university, one of the most amazing things you can get involved with is RAG. RAG stands for Raising and Giving, and is the term that we use for all of our student fundraising. The events put on by the Students' Union really facilitate different students getting to know each other. There's something for everyone. I was really nervous about moving into halls. It was quite daunting because you think, I've got all this independence and like, I've got to look after myself. The people that you're living with are all in the same position and they become like your new family. So you all look out for each other and kind of support each other and you get really close to people very easily. I felt a bit anxious at first about not being in halls, but I overcame this by making the decision to find a private residence which is five minutes away from the university, sort of get my face around. I didn't actually get a place in Hall's accommodation, so I found a group of people who were in the same position and we all grouped together and rented somewhere close by, which meant I didn't get that Hall's experience, but I soon met people that were there, so whenever I wanted to, I could hang out in Hall. There's a great range of facilities. The gym is very fairly priced to students and it's a great place. Definitely to go knock on all the doors is my main top tip for living in halls. As soon as you get here, go and speak to as many people and get your flat together and arrange a little meet-up um, because people are eager to be friends. As a new student, I would say you should make the most out of London. Remember to take some time out for yourself. Be a tourist, be adventurous and, and make the most of what's there in London. There's so much experience to be had, work experience or just pleasure and leisure. It's amazing living in London and I'm making most of it right now. If you live at home, my top tip is to use your journey time to do extra work. Be active, be social, always wear a smile on your face. You never know who you might meet. Join lots of societies. There's absolutely no reason to be nervous at all.